we tune our bagpipe, we do two things. We tune the drones to each other, and we tune the drones to the chanter. As you listen to this short interlude by Rob Crabtree, watch and listen to how he is not only tuning the drones perfectly to one another, but also how he is putting the drones pleasantly in tune with the chanter. We began by showing you how to tune drones to each other. When you tune your entire bagpipe, chanter included, there is a step we must take before we tune the drones together. That step is to tune one drone to the low A on your chanter. To tune the drones to low A, we'll begin by striking up and shutting off the bass and middle tenor. We do this without using a stopper, by reaching up and momentarily covering the end of the drone with a fingertip or two. Then we play low A. Low A will be our main tuning note. We'll tune one drone to this note. Listen to this carefully. Was that drone in tune with low A or not? You probably find it hard to tell, and that's very normal. It's a very experienced and astute piper who can listen for a few moments and say, oh, that drone is sharp, I need to flatten it. At this point, you'll probably need to experiment quite freely. Take a guess at which way the drone should move. Your guess could be based on where it tuned yesterday, or whether it sounds sharp or flat to you. Play high A with your left hand. Reach up with your right hand and move the drone top an eighth of an inch or three or four millimeters or more in whichever direction you choose. Play low A again, blow steadily, and decide if it sounds better or worse. If it's better, move the drone further in the same direction. If it seems worse, Reverse the direction, move the drone top back to where you began, and then a good eighth inch past that. What we're trying to do is get the pitch of the drone to match as closely as we can to the pitch of the low A. I'll try to demonstrate this right now. <laughs> When you first try this, you may find it takes you a dozen or more moves to get the drones close. But eventually, you'll recognize when the drone is wildly sharp or flat. Again, as we discussed earlier, it's much easier to start your tuning session with the low A and the drone at least close to being in tune. I always start with the drone top in approximately the same position it was in last time I played. If you try this process repeatedly, and can't seem to get the drone close as we've demonstrated here, you may wish to use a tuning meter to get started. There's a session at the end of this video on how to use the tuning meter to get started. Let's assume we have gotten the tenor drone at least close to the tuning of the low A. How do we get it closer? Here is a very important technique that we'll use to find out which way we should move the drone that last little bit to get it perfectly in tune. 
I'll refer to this as the pressure variance technique, and it works like this. If we vary our blowing pressure slightly, the pitch of our chanter reed will change. If we blow harder, the chanter will sharpen a bit. If we ease off, the chanter will flatten. This concept is so important that I'd like you to see it in writing. Blow harder, chanter sharpens. Ease off, chanter flattens. If we try the pressure variance method with our roughly tuned bagpipe, and we listen very closely, we should notice that the sound of the low A of the chanter against the drone improves as we vary the pressure one way or another. For example, we might decide to blow and squeeze a little harder to increase the pressure on the chanter reed. We may notice that the bagpipe sounds more in tune when we do this. What this tells us is that the chanter sounds better with the drones when it is slightly sharper. Therefore, the chanter is a bit flatter than the drone. To improve the tuning, we need to flatten the drone. We do this by raising the drone top. This may sound long and complicated. However, we can reduce it to some simple rules. If you blow harder and the drone comes into tune, move the drone up. If you ease off and the drone comes into tune, move the drone down. In other words, blow up, drone up. Blow down, drone down. In fine tuning, this is how we determine which way to move the drone. I should stress that the variance in pressure is very slight. It's almost unnoticeable to an outside listener. I'm going to strike up my pipes, shut off my bass and middle tenor, and play low A. I will have one tenor drone going, and it will be roughly tuned to the chanter's low A. I will ease off my blowing very slightly. If the drone comes into tune, then I will pull my drone top down. Listen and watch. examine what I just did. I played low A. I wasn't sure if the drone was sharp or flat, but when I eased off my blowing very slightly and made the low A flatter, the drone came into tune. So I played high A, reached up with my right hand, and pulled the drone down. I pulled the drone down a very small amount, probably less than a sixteenth of an inch, more like a millimeter. I tested to low A again and eased off. The drone got better still, so I played high A and pulled the drone top down again. I tested to low A and the drone was in tune. Conversely, if I ease off and the drone goes more out of tune, then the drone doesn't come down, it goes up. I know this without having to blow up though if I did blow a bit harder, the drone would come into tune. It may seem complicated to remember which way to move the drone, but it's not. Again, here is all you have to remember. If you blow harder and the drone comes into tune, move the drone up. If you ease off and the drone comes into tune, move the drone down. Blow up, drone up. Blow down, drone down. These are probably the most important eight words you'll hear in this video. Commit this concept to memory. There are two important things to remember as you perform the pressure variance technique. First, when I vary my blowing pressure, it's quite subtle. It should not be at all obvious to the listener that I'm doing this. 
This is an important technique to master, though you may not get it right away. If we vary our pressure too obviously, we will make some very strange sounds, and we always want to avoid that. Sometime you'll find yourself in the position of having to tune in public, in front of a judge, an audience, or some other players. Try to make your pressure variance technique so gentle that only you can hear it. The second thing to remember is that because the pressure changes are only slight, your drone must be fairly close to being in tune with the chanter before you even attempt the pressure variance process. If you try this when they aren't close enough in tune, the pressure variance technique will have no effect.